Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. Hey, Michael. Guess where they asked Rick to do his comedy class? Go on. Belford Prison. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. In prison? I thought that was a really encouraging start. Right, back off or I'll cut him. Anybody so much as touches this door tonight my say so, laughing boy gets it. You gonna take me on? Oh, no, 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 not at all. They won't let me have a chess set in my cell. That's what this is about. Where's the harm in telling the truth? Can you just tell the truth? No offense, a pizza. Why do you tell so many lies? Why do you lie the whole time? I prefer life when it's my version. I remember at school when I was six, the nativity play, I was cast as the sheep. Basically, it was a, a matter of calming him down. And then I seized my moment, overpowered him, and escaped. So was there an actual fight, Rick? Obviously, I, I, I can't go in, into too much detail, but... Um... Now, with me in the studio is comedian Rick Spleen, who, of course, himself earlier this week was held hostage in the Belford prison siege. First of all, Rick, glad to see you're safe and well. Yeah, thanks very much, Simon. Uh, very glad to be here. It was quite an ordeal, as you can imagine. Basically, what happened... So tell me, exactly what will the hostages be going through right now? Well, uh, oh, and them. Um, well, they'll be going through oh, a whole different range of emotions. I mean, I know exactly how they'll be feeling. Um, confused, disorientated, frightened. Were you frightened? Uh, I wasn't personally frightened, no. But the important thing is, is to remain calm and uh, keep looking out for that one moment uh, when you can overpower your captor like I did. Yes, but from what you've seen, aren't these hostages in a far more dangerous situation? Well, not really, no. I mean, unpleasant as your experience must have been. been more than unpleasant. I mean, don't forget I was held at knife point in, in, in the prison library. Yes, but with respect, I mean, these people are being held by a heavily armed group of radical extremists somewhere in the Somali desert. Yeah, yeah, they are. <clears throat> but this, this bloke was from Glasgow. <laughs> right. So, uh, what, what do you think the chances are that we all... Siege comic. Is that what I have to call you now? Oh, no, it's embarrassing. They're just milking it, trying to keep the story going. Rick Spleen's top ten prison pizza toppings. Ten? I gave them twenty. Did I tell you they've asked me to host the Brave Britain Awards? Yes, you have mentioned that. You don't seem that pleased about it. Oh, I am. It's just that one of my clients was going to be presenting it before you were parachuted in. Oh, was he? Who was it? Was it, was it Dan Arrowsmith? I can't say. All oh, right. You see, he wouldn't have been right for it. No life experience. What's the worst thing that's happened to him? Oh, someone bumped into my punt. <laughs> he was brought up in a children's home. Oh, so it was Dan. Yeah. No, they made the right choice. I mean, these are brave people. They need someone they can relate to. Right. Oh, Channel Four call. They want me to be in the celebrity survival thing they're doing. You know, live in the wild, find your own water, eat plants, that kind of stuff. Wow. Where's that? Oh, I don't know. Some wood in Surrey, but it's for a whole week. <laughs> I guess they think after what I've been through, I can survive just about anything. And you know what? They're probably right. Mm, well, you better not let them film you sleeping. What? Why, why? Why not? It's just that you've been talking a lot in your sleep. Right? What sort of things have I been saying? Help. Don't hurt me. That kind of thing. Yeah, it's probably post-traumatic stress syndrome. It's very common, I expect. Have you seen this one? Uh, <laughs> can we Houdini in this, aren't <laughs> Who didn't he? <laughs> Me. Anyway, so you walk out on stage and... Ah, oh, I don't know. Uh, good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Brave Britain Awards. Wait, let me get this down. This is comedy gold. If only we'd known. No more. All the years you spent doing those gigs and all it took was some guy to hold a knife to your throat and threaten to kill you, which, by the way, is not an original thought. And next thing you know, you're in all the papers. It was a very serious incident. 
That's why they asked me on the news as a consultant yesterday. Because I've been there, I've been through it. You were on the news again? I missed that. Well, they are, you see. Those two guys kidnapped in Malaysia. Naturally, the BBC called on me for my knowledge. Thought it was Somalia. That's what I meant. I keep getting mixed up like that. Mel says it's classic post-traumatic stress syndrome. Oh, that'll explain it. The thing is, when it mattered, I stayed calm, dealt with the situation. Instead of cacking myself like you would have. Mm -hmm. Right. What? No, it's just, uh, one of the newspapers said that the guy fell asleep and you crept out on your tippy toes. Of course it did. You know why, don't you? Because that's what happened? No. Because that's what he's been saying. Donald. He can't have the whole prison knowing I overpowered him. He'd be dead meat. Y you haven't been in there. I have. So how did you overpower him? I mean, he's a big guy. Why don't, you, why don't you get up and show me how you did it? I wish I could. Only thing is, Official Secrets Act, which they made me sign. Sorry. Home office insisted. <sighs> Well, the home office insists. A uh, lot of pictures and things people have said about you. You could put it that way, yeah. So he's tried to kill you, this man? Several times, yes, but I defeated him eventually. But how, if he's mad men with knife? Do you are a clown? A comedian. Well, you just have to read about it in my book when it comes out. You're writing a book about this? Very probably, yes. What is... Houdini. Houdini. He was a very famous, very clever escape artist. Please. Escape artist? Uh, he was a stage act and people would come and tie him up in chains and padlocks and put him in a trunk and throw him in rivers and all sorts and he'd always escape. Where can I see Houdini? Houdini? Well, you can't now because he's dead. Oh. Sorry about that. So how did Houdini... Um, who... Who did who... How did... How Houdini... How did Houdini die? Yes. I have no idea. <laughs> ah, can't tell you how good this feels. Fresh air, sound of the birds. It is the little things you guys appreciate. <laughs> Get that a lot these days. It is Rick they're shouting. Yes, yes, Rick. My name. One mushroom risotto, and for you, sir? I'll have this. Aha, the hero returneth. Well, I don't know about that, but yeah. <laughs> Your usual table, Rick. Well done. And the prison siege thing. Oh, uh, yeah. Cheers. In fact, I wasn't going to tell you this. It was going to be a surprise, but uh, I'm going to name a sandwich after you. Oh, oh well, well. That's a good idea. The egg and spleen bap. <laughs> oh, would you mind? Um, I thought a photo would be good. Of the two of us together. I'll put it in the window. Yeah, yeah, OK. Huh. Would you do the honours, Marty? My pleasure. Oh, that's nice. Now, how does this thing work? Just press that button on the top, I expect. Which button? That one, the one on the top. On the top, I think. Which one? That one there, oh. just... Oh, this one. Is this a nice camera? Yeah, stuff? just take the photo, Marty. And smile. <laughs> there we go. Is that okay for you? You look a bit tense. That's fine. That's how I meant to look. Excuse me. Yes, in a minute. So come on, tell me all about it. Uh, uh, there's not much to tell. It's like it says in the papers. I, I overpowered him, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, but how? I mean, he's a big bloke. How did you do it? Can't really go into detail. It's, uh, it's, it's still quite raw. I mean, say this is him. Uh, yeah. Michael. So he's got you like this. So Michael, I wouldn't, I wouldn't actually do this. Give him a chest set, no! He was Scottish, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah he was. Give him a chest set! Michael! Uh, Michael! Uh, get off! Michael! Me. Give me a chest! Get off! Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. No, you... You didn't scare me. I was just worried that I'd go into a flashback and actually really hurt you. You know, just spontaneous. I could have done that, like that, right in your eye. So that's why I'm not supposed to talk about it. All right, fair enough. I was just curious. Could have really hurt you. You'd be careful around me. I'll get your coffees. That was impressive, seeing you in action. What is that? Was that, uh, Fork Jitsu or something? Just shut up, would you? Busy? Yeah. Yeah. Ben's looking for a flat. Oh, yeah? Oh, good for you, Ben. 
Any luck? Uh, no, not really. Yeah, you found them out and they asked all these questions. Have you got a job? Have you got any references? Can you afford to pay the deposit? Ben's like, what's it to you? I keep telling him. I'm just looking for a place to DOS, not a load of hassle. Yeah. And what do they say to that? They just hang up. Oh, that's rude. Mm. Yeah, so what are you going to do? Keep looking? No, I'll probably just, um, just give up. Oh, well, I'll just hang around here. Yeah, might do, yeah. I know, but the thing is that Ben likes to have his own space. Does he? Yeah, well, I, I know all about that. <laughs> you know, when I was held hostage. Oh, yeah. What's this? When I was held hostage. I haven't heard about this. Yeah, I texted you. I thought that was a wind-up. No, I was taken hostage. Bloody hell, well, they kept that quiet, didn't they? <laughs> well, no, not really, they didn't. It was all over the papers. Oh, mm. uh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> so what happened then? Did you, uh, did you get out? No, I mean, did, you know, did they pay a ransom or whatever? Well, well they didn't have to, because I overpowered him. Cool. Basically, what happened is I, I waited and, uh, you know, he turned his back. He had a nice... That's the doorbell. Not a very nice one, either. You uh, should I probably get that. I took my moment and got him in a lot. Yeah. Yes, yes, all right. Oh, hello, Rick. Sorry to bother you. Have you got a minute? Not really, no. I'm in a meeting. It's quite important. Well done, by the way. Hmm? The old prison siege. Oh, uh, yeah, Rob, uh, I just did what I had to in a situation like that, so. And the rest, I hope. What? You know, when he was down and the wardens piled in. Hope you got in there with a nice... <laughs> uh, well, it wasn't quite like that, but... Uh... Oh, more was the pity, eh? <laughs> Scumbag. <laughs> now, what it is, is, um... It's just a courtesy thing, really. Right. Yeah, I've decided my mother needs a ramp up to the front door for accessibility purposes. Oh, yeah? And so, strictly speaking, you need planning permission for this sort of thing, so naturally I've applied. So I'm just going around letting everybody know, just so there aren't any objections or that kind of thing. Oh, I see. Just thought I'd keep you, uh, keep you in the picture. <laughs> and as I say, well done. <laughs> yeah, this, this ramp... What, what's, what sort of ramp? Well, it's just a standard disability ramp and handrail for access to the front door. Yeah. Well, what's it going to be made of? Well, they're, they're normally made of uh, concrete with a galvanised iron handrail to one side. Why? Is it, is it, is it a problem? No, I'm not sure it sounds all that nice, you know, to look at. Well, it's not supposed to look particularly nice, Rick. It's a much-needed mobility aid for my mother. So you say. But if you go and put one in, someone else might want one. Then someone else will put one of those chair lifts in. Before you know it, the whole street will look like a theme park. Hey. Are you actually saying you object? Well, you'll get skateboarders. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Why on earth would you object to a ramp for my mother? Why on earth would you object to our top floor window when we applied? Oh, I see. I see what this is about. Yes. Petty revenge. No, it's not petty. That was an entirely different matter. Your proposed window was totally out of keeping with the street. This is a conservation area, Rick. Exactly, which is why you can't go putting concrete ramps all over the place. One. One single ramp. There will be one ramp up to the front door so that she can get in and out of the house. Well, can't she use a couple of planks or something? She's 85, Rick. <sighs> you haven't heard the last of this.
you can object to his mother's wheelchair ramp. Too bloody right. He wants to turn the whole street into Alton Towers. But she needs a wheelchair ramp. Yeah, and I needed a top floor window. I knew there'd be a reason. Well, why shouldn't I be allowed to alter the roof of my own house? I'm glad they stopped you. It's not as if your passion for astronomy lasted. Well, yeah, thanks to Clive. And the planning department. Yeah, well, they're no better, bastards. You can't deny an old lady access to her own home. Well, we'll just have to agree to differ on that. Maybe don't mention that at the Brave Britain Awards. Oh, and Ben and Sam want to come. To the awards? Hmm. Great. More than merrier. I'm glad you said that. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm very excited. Mel has invited me to Brave Britain Awards. I know, she told me. I'm, I'm looking forward to coming to Brave Britain Awards. Good. What is Brave Britain Awards? Well, it's awards for people who've been brave in Britain. How have they been brave? All sorts of ways. I mean, these are really heroic people that we're honouring. That's why they've asked me to host it. What have they done? Well, I don't know. It could be they've survived an accident or recovered from some terrible illness. But this is not brave. This is just lucky. Oh, I'll, I'll point that out in my opening speech, shall I? Yes, I think. Dad, do you know, is there an A to Z in here? Uh, no, I don't think so. Would well, you know what Eastley Road is, then? Why, have you found a flat? Uh, yeah, might have done. Yeah. yeah, Ben's been invited to a party. Yeah, and then I thought I might stay on. What, and live there? Yeah, just until the owner gets back. Yeah, yeah he's gone on a business trip or something. Mm. Sounds perfect. So, are you looking forward to tonight? Tonight? The awards. It's Brave Britain Awards. Yeah, all right, thank you, Magda. It's for people who have been brave in Britain. So I can tell her. Who have had accidents. Not just accidents. And they I've are given you. prize for having illness. They're awards. Anyway, it could be anything. Is that tonight, then? Yeah, Mum said you were coming. Uh, yeah, no, we are. So you're getting an award? No, Ben, I'm giving them out. I'm hosting the whole evening. You're telling jokes and that? Yes. You're going to be telling jokes about people with illness? No, not about people. That could be well dodgy. Yeah, I'm not going to... go down like a cup of coal sick. No, it won't. And then it might never work again. It will be like back to before. Good. Well, thanks for the pep talk. You were going to kill with these. You know we got over seven million viewers last year. I know. Makes a change from the usual room full of drunken aircon salesmen, doesn't it? Nah, those days are over for me, Marty. This is good stuff. It's comedy gold, man. Hey, I might even improvise. Please don't. There you go. What's this? Your sandwich. Uh, I didn't order a sandwich. The one in your honor. Oh, oh, I see. Oh. Thanks, Michael. Yes, the Rick Spleen baguette. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> sure I will. What's in it? Well, it's an artisan baguette with chicken, lettuce, mustard, mayo. Chicken? Did you, did you say it's chicken? Yes, is there a problem with that? Chicken? Oh, chicken! Doesn't exactly say brave, does it? What was I thinking? Oh, well, I suppose I could change if it. you would. How inappropriate. <laughs> Mind you, one of the papers did say that the prisoner fell asleep and then you sneaked out. Yeah, well, that's not what happened. I thought Rick's not been doing his act for him, has he? You know, you were doing your act and he fell asleep. Have you ever noticed? Can we get two coffees, Michael? Sure, coming right up. Just think, if it all goes well tonight, we can afford to eat somewhere else. We? Do not stumble through tonight. Have no fear of falling. And if nobody got lost And if no one paid the cost The price of this you may surmise Is forever after We won't stumble through tonight Drowning in their laughter Welcome to the Brave Britain Awards uh, Great catering tonight, by the way So much better than prison food <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. It's the last time I visited my dad in jail. <coughs> please, please, sit down. <laughs> uh. 
That looks nice. Oh, cheers. It's yours. I know. Hey, Magda. You ever wear your mother's clothes? No. She's huge, my mother. How huge is ben? she? You think we should give Dad a call? Uh, he'll probably be rehearsing. Oh, he's a pro. He doesn't need to rehearse. But one sad piece of news, ladies and gentlemen, is that Donald Dennis, my captor, can't be with us tonight because he's a psycho. <laughs> yeah, he's locked up like he ought to be. Uh, about <laughs> ten minutes, Rick. Yeah, thank you. Bound to be nervous. It's the biggest gig he's ever done. The biggest gig he's ever been to. <laughs> so he's like all the BF3. Yeah, and food. And Dad said there's like goodie bags. What have happened to you? Wow, nice place. It's difficult to clean, I think. Hello, Rick. Clive! What are you doing here? Got a couple of tickets for me and my mother. Thought we'd come and cheer you along. Oh, yeah, look, if, if this is about the ramp, I was only joking. I... Oh, good. Well, in that case, you won't mind uh, signing this statement to say you have no objections? Yeah, I haven't got time for that now. I've oh, to... would you rather I got up in front of the TV cameras and said a few words about our hero, Rick? And how he's making an 85-year-old woman's life a misery. A couple of friends for you at stage door. Great, thanks. Be right there. I better go. Oh, but we haven't finished our little chat, have we? Maybe we could discuss it in private. We can discuss it wherever you like. But I won't back down. Huh? Very nice. Grapes. Wine. <laughs> Got a couple of friends for you at Stay's door, Rick. Pretty well looked after, aren't we? Yeah, I know. Anyway, what I need from you is this uh, size. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Help yourself to the tea. not grave. He did not decide to have helicopter crash. Yeah, well, I think it's more about how he got over it than... But he did not get over it, because when I say this to him, he's got very angry. Still, I think it's probably best if you don't ask him any more questions. And then he's crying. Mm. Is there any more beer? <sighs> Shall we go look for him? It might be nice to go and wish him good luck. Yeah. Sweetheart, we're going to go and see Dad, OK? So, is everything OK? Yeah. Brilliant. I right, put your friends in the green room. Hope that's all right. Great, thanks. As long as I don't drink all the beer. <laughs> well, uh, if I can call on you in two minutes to get mic'd up. Yeah, no worries. So, you got here all right then? Hello, Rick. We've got a message from Donald. Here he is. More friends. You are popular. Hi. Are you okay? What's up? Don't be nervous, man. It's a great script. I can't use it. What's happened? Donald sent someone to see me. When was this? Just now. Two of them waiting for me in the green room. What does he want? He wants me to tell the truth on stage. How do you mean the truth? About what happened in prison. About how I overpowered him, or rather, how I didn't overpower him. He fell asleep. I knew it. Now I've got to go out there and humiliate myself in front of everyone. Again. What? Sorry. I'm just trying to lighten the mood. Sorry. What are you going to do? I don't know. Look, 
drop all the stuff about Donald and the siege. It's all about Donald and the siege, you know it is. Well, I've had it. Either I go up on stage and die, or... Still television camera, so I can wave to my sister Agatha. I wouldn't do that. But she will be watching on television. Yeah, still might be a bit wrong, mm. I think. I'm not sure I can watch. Me neither. What's he gonna do? Oh, man. Will you please welcome this year's Brave Britain Awards host, Mr. Rick Split! Oh, thank you very much. A great catering tonight. So much better than... Uh, um, uh, uh, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, but before we... Before we get underway, I've, I've got something rather serious to say. About my recent experience in the Belford prison siege. Um, many of you will have read in the papers that I was a hero and I overpowered my captor, Donald Innes. But, yeah, <laughs> the truth is, I just told him my life story and he was so bored he fell asleep. <laughs> no, it was not funny, I just... Do you really think I could win a fight with a murderer from Glasgow? I don't... <laughs> you serious? Don't laugh, you have me killed. <laughs> and by the way, it was me who ordered that disgusting pizza. That was so funny. Yeah, nice one. Yeah, <laughs> awesome, Dad. Yeah, cheers. Now I know you are a funny clown. Yeah, comedian, but thanks anyway, Magda. You knocked it out of the park, man. I should not write for you more often. Huh? The truth is funny. What's <laughs> it? Yeah. Uh, Rick, can we have a few questions? Yeah, yeah, sure. Maybe one at a time and I'll try so and... So to get crush the party? Oh, no. This is my mother. Oh, oh Clive, not now. She's 85 Clive, years old. Clive, they don't want to know. Sorry about this. He's a stalker. And I've spent the last two hours locked just, in his dressing room. Just ignore him. Now, a few weeks ago, no one likes I him. made an application Clive, to the council. Clive, really, they don't want to know. Let's talk about it later, can we? Do you want another truth about this man? Don't, don't, hey, listen, can we this just talk about this? This man is trying to stop my mother from having a wrong. 